dear students welcome to build from basics youtube channel now let's talk about why transformer rating is in either volt ampere or kilovolt ampere or megavolt ampere so i request you to concentrate and try to follow each sentence carefully the main reason is the capacity of the transformer is limited by two factors you know the first one is the current that the transformer winding can carry and the second one is the voltage that the transformer is designed to work without saturation in general the voltage in the power system is kept constant within the specified range therefore the transformer voltage is also transformer voltage and also the ratio normally it is fixed then what is variable therefore basically the rating of the transformer is directly proportional to the current that it delivers to the load and load current is always depends on what it depends on the amount of load and type of load okay now in general loads in power system are two types resistive load and reactive loads and again reactive loads are again two types inductive and capacitive loads that you already know it is known that active power is related to resistive loads while reactive power is related to reactive loads so the question is the resistive load consumes active power but the reactive loads they don't consume any active power so they don't they only either consume reactive power or produce reactive power depending on if it is react uh, inductive load it consumes reactive power if it is capacitive load it produces reactive power so the reactive loads as i said they do not consume any active power as i said still the reactive loads they they consume or produce reactive reactive power that's why there will be a steady current flow between the source and the load therefore irrespective of the type of load whether it is resistive or reactive the load involves a current flow between the source and load therefore ac generators and the transformers must supply this current irrespective of the type of load it can be it can be resistive or reactive or it, in the reactive also it can be capacitive or inductive it doesn't matter so there will be always current flow between source and load and this current has to be supplied by the transformers and ac generators that's why the transformers and ac generators are alternators rated in volt amperes or kilovolt amperes or megavolt amperes instead of kilowatt active and reactive power you know together they make the upper end power the active power is the multiplication of rms voltage v and rms current and the cosine of angle between them the units of active power is watts or kilowatt or megawatt the reactive power is it is the multiplication of rms voltage current and the sine of angle between voltage and current the unit of reactive power is kilovolt ampere reactive kvr or volt ampere reactive or megawatt it depends on uh, the amount of uh, reactive power and finally the upper end power s is the, the, the units of upper end power is either volt ampere or kilovolt ampere or megawatt ampere this is just uh, reminding some basics to you thank you very much uh, for watching this video we hope it is helpful to you we request you to subscribe bill from basics youtube channel by clicking the bell button and share with others for those uh, whom you think it is uh, relevant this will encourage us to post more such videos in future you know you can always post your questions in the comments and 